yeah, it's been over 90 degrees for the past few days here in Oregon. So, um, we've had to have the air conditioning on, put up and the house closed up much earlier in the year than we would normally. But anyway, our kit, our characters and so forth. So, we have a bunch of guest characters, so let's take a look at our main character for a moment. Go learn skills, so. Main character is the warrior class. Um, do I have any skills? I, so I don't have skill points to learn anything. I don't have the ability to change jobs yet. I'm also going to save us, uh, do a save state here as well. Ah, okay. Analog stick is for, scro for scrolling and rotation. Not using the shoulder buttons. Alright, so I'm using the analog stick. So, let's just go straight to the first fight. The stronghold can hit a series of areas which you battle through in succession. You may, give it to, you may be given an option to save your progress before proceeding to the next battle. Which means what you want means what I'll want to do is uh say is do a separate save slot in between battles. But yep, now we'll be able to leave the stronghold. You've completed all the areas within, so it's highly recommended you use different save data. Use the start button, open the system menu, and save your process. So slot two. Gates of Amorica. You're the rebels whooping the You're the rebels whooping the hard net in Goliath. Here to save your duke, get it? Two thousand goth on that one's head, boys. I have to purse to him what brings him down. Objective vanish vanquish Papa. To battle! Not much in terms of selecting party members here. Narrow screams scarce one pace across. Easily jump to this. Watch. Look before, eh? Only jump to ground at the same height or lower. One of the wings, like me, moves with no need of height or terrain. Need of heat of height or terrain. Even so, rushing it alone without someone to watch your back is asking for an early grave. I always keep it open, close watching the action to see who. Avoid unnecessary actions to keep speed on your side. The distance the unit moves and the action it takes will determine how long it must wait to move again. So basically, if press, press the triangle button to display a list of all the units in battle. You can sort units by order of attack turn to quickly see which unit will move next. When the unit's turn comes around, you can command it to move, act, or use skills. What's I'm going to figure out which these voices eventually. What's more, when you can use those commands in any order you see fit. Pick on your choice as well. Command to move to be cancelled at any time. Are you out of range for a man to plan to attack? Try moving it to a different location. Let me adjust something real quick. All units begin battle with no MP, that being the font of all magical power. Second. to make an adjustment on the fan. Units accumulate MP gradually over time. 
powerful magic requires greater amounts of MP, so think ahead before casting a spell. And everyone's taking the turn. So, what does this mean for us? Nope. At the bottom of the screen, we actually have our party, our list of characters and their party order. Get that door hit under. So we list up at the bottom of the screen, a list of characters in our party. As you can tell, uh, admittedly, I don't know how well this works if you're colorblind, because green is one of the colors here. Uh, my character, the currently selected character is green. Or the art are highlighted. Um, my character is green. Also, is that Katia is also green as well. I suspect Katia may also be another party member who can join my party. Um, they have terrain information there as far as for bonuses to attack and defense. Um... Enemy units like this fella here are highlight are in yellow. So moving and then acting has more of an impact on my time gauge than just moving. I'm just going to hold my position there. Yeah, this is a tutorial fight. Skills are divided into four broad categories. Command, Support, Action, and Special. Conjure of magic such as myself must do more than learn a spell to work at it. You must assign the Ithic Motion Command skill before you can use the spells as Sign units, spell to your units from the pot, skills to your units from the party screen. You show that you don't forget. You need a class mark in order to change its class. Some class marks can be found for sale in shops, but not all to be had so easily. Probably goes without saying, if you change a unit to a class you've been neglecting, more likely than not it will be level 1. What's more, if you take someone on, on of a class you've never encountered, you'll have to work him up one level at a time. Take a... Yeah. Best use costume. He'll make for easy pickings on against a seasoned foe. So. What does this mean mechanically? Um, classes level up. Characters do not. This is, this is the reason we use the PSP version. Is that way if... Is because what I'm planning to do is for non named characters i.e. not like Canopus, not like Dunan, that sort of thing but we'll be picking up party members over time um we're just recruiting general party members because this isn't as heavy as core on core party members as say something like uh, Final Fantasy Tactics my plan is, is if a character bites it they will stay dead I can recruit a new character with um, and then the whoever is next in the lineup for getting named will get to have that character name. We get the other character or we get to have that character name there. Because then they'll I will you don't necessarily then have to grind them up, grind up their level. Grind them up sounds wrong. You don't have to grind up their level as you would for something like, say, Final Fantasy Tactics. Final Fantasy Tactics. But you actually have, like, for Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, once you select, oh, make him a warrior. If your warrior class is at level 10, they will be a level 10 warrior. Anywho, I use common consumables such as Mend Leaf and Magic Leaf with the inventory command. I'm going to use the ordinary, ordinary items that are removed directly from your party's inventory. 
You kind of miss that there, but it gives you your attack possibility and how much damage it'll do. Use of more powerful consumables requires field alchemy as support skill. Different items require one or more of one of four field alchemy skill ranks. The item list on the party screen indicates what items require which rank. Study well, lest you enter battle unprepared. Actually, I'm not going to do the voicing for this because this is just tutorial text. Within your party, all units are the same class here at level. Earlier, even your nearest recruit can step on the battlefield and hold his own. But again, if it's a if it's a brand new class that you've just picked up, um, then that class will start at level one, and so you will want to do some grinding to say, hey, you unlock the ninja class, you will need to do some grinding to level up the ninja class. Press with the triangle button, plug between the class unit list and the class list. Class ahead, and we see what level each class has reached. All right, now we're back to dialogue. One whisper of Romney's execution, and out you come, bold as you please. A wreck and smell a trap, but not our rebels, eh? By the time we were rid of your lot. Support skills are just that, skills that provide some passive benefit to the user. When I move, you'll notice yellow points of light near me on the ground. This is a support part skill called Rampart Aura. Any skills that need the range of the aura will be unable to move further until their next turn. Basically, it's a tank skill that locks down opponents who move past this character. Meanwhile, the boss is like, Oi! Oi! You stop that! You stop the tutorializing right now, pay attention to me! Some support skills hinder the enemy's movement, while others might grant enhanced strength. Through your class and the lie of the battlefield with just in choosing which to use. A trap can be walked right into it. Trap or no, we fight or we die. Never let a Galgastani get the better of me, and I don't mean to start today. Focus, Vice. Our first duty is to save the Duke. Don't lecture me on duty. Your only duty is to stay alive. I did not speak to Din so. He was only trying to help. Alright, so now we get an example. We'll move up there. Throw a rock. Now I'll get you the rock. I have a 75% chance of hitting, but I'm only going to do one damage. Useful demonstration there. Pause for a second. Friendly fire isn't. Um, our, my healer was caught in the effect of the paralytic wave attack, and so she is now unable to move. Um, and you saw that he used a triangular-based uh, area, so you need to be careful where you place your spells. Wait, you know Wolsters. I know a man from Lotus when I see one. I ain't got a chance to touch the guy. Campus has a counterattack ability. 
Are you alright, Denim? You shouldn't let Vice get to you. I'm fine, sister. Back to the battle. Also, like, I should be asking you this. You accidentally got hit by a paralytic wave spell. Well, oh, also, with a paralytic wave, you can't, you can't move, but you can still take actions. Uh, so. So there are two friendlies. That's a hostile. Also a hostile. I can't get to either of them. So I'm just going to move over and grab the bag. Zena wine. I'm assuming that's something I can sell. Ow. So, no, no, that was probably a crit as well. But also, you notice, like, the predicted damage was 20, then it was 200, and it was still was 40, possibly related to the drop. Another hostile down. How's he still able to move? Okay. And that moved the par paralysis. Okay. And that's the fight. I barely got to do anything. Like the, my, my, my move action, so they got me, let me move up. But now I'm never going to get into attack range. Looks like our luck has turned. I'm guessing some of those come from what, like, so. Let me check on the book real quick to see if, like, after we're about picking up stuff from the battlefield or not. Okay, so there's actually treasure points on the map that I reach to if I get to certain locations. Didn't quite get to one of any of those. Oh well. Paying attention? I wasn't. Okay, so you have a bag of loot is on the field, you ought to make pick it up, so... Okay. Berserker's Mark, so that, and Bronze Oberanth, so Bronze Oberanth is still for cash. Uh, Berserker's Mark means, that means I now have unlocked the Berserk class. And so I've unlocked, so I've leveled up each of those classes. And so this is, so this is the reason for what you'd be grinding for is for skill is for the skill points. Yep. Experience points on awarded individual units is that each class that participated in the battle receives an portion of the total. Only classes represented by units who survive battle receive experience points. A ninja in the battle and they stuff it. Ninja class did not gain experience. Skill points are resided in equal fashion with each surviving unit receiving an equal part share of the total. So Units earn skill points. Characters, or classes, earn experience points. The way inside is clear, stand on guard. The way inside is clear, stand on guard. Leave the heavy lifting to us, Dan. Cover our flank. That's all we ask. We're the professionals. Let us earn our pay. So... Let's see. Aim in. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks. Also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 